Sam, I swear to God, there are rumors right now that Jalen Ramsey could potentially be traded, dealt to the Detroit Lions. If really? this happens, I'm going to lose my shit three times, four times, what, five times, what? I'm going to lose it, bro. Mm. But I can only hope and pray, for real. Sources are saying Lions are front runner and potentially landing Ramsey. He's due $17 million this upcoming season, which the Lions have the money to make this happen. Uh, I just think this trade, if they did this, I think it makes sense, man, because we are in dire need of cornerbacks. Mm -hmm. We're in dire need. Uh, our cornerback, Amani Oruwariye, he had a strong season in 2021, then he fell off last year. And then our corner, Jeff Okuda, former third overall pick in the 2020 draft, he's just injured left and right. He really hasn't lived up to the – to the hype of how high we picked him um but sources are indicating that if the rams are willing to accept what somebody will throw at him maybe like a, a first rounder or a second rounder like a late first rounder or early second rounder in the future in a few pick draft picks in the future something like that then they could, you could potentially make this happen hell even throw in a rotational player whoever that ain't a you know a stud but mm -hmm. i don't know man i just i could see this happening you know our general manager, Brad Holmes, coming from the Rams organization. You know, he's got the connection with the Rams still. So remember the, the Stafford for Jared Goff trade, they made it happen. They traded right. for Mike, Michael Brockers, defensive lineman, who the Lions just released, but he played for us for two years. And then we signed Josh Reynolds from uh, the Rams too. So, I mean, we just, the connection's strong there. I mean, I can see this happen. What would you think about Jalen Ramsey coming to Detroit? Any chance it happens? Man, I think Jalen Ramsey pulling the KD right now. He's trying to go to any team that's hot. But I don't think Detroit going to be the one that it goes to, bro. And, uh. yeah, y'all look very good this year, but I just think he'll go somewhere else, man. Because uh, that's a little bit more high-power than uh, traditional winning. So I think he wanted to go back to the Jaguars, but I'm not sure about that anymore either. You know what I'm saying? So uh he definitely gonna get big money wherever he goes i know you say uh he's owed 17 million so mm -hmm. whoever got the cap space got a chance but i just don't think that he's a lead anymore bro like he has he had a good season or whatever he uh, had a great season last, this past season finally right he had a good season or whatever but that defense that round defense was so messed up or whatever injured all over the board or whatever and then, like I say, just with the offense and the defense, really, or whatever, it was just so busted up. So I don't think that was part of the problem, but he just not he just not the top guy anymore, bro. Like how we used to talk about that man like three, four years ago. He might be top five, but just not number one. He's definitely top five, bro. Come on. Yeah, now. he just he's just he's, he's, he's just not number top. one, man. And I think he's gonna right. be asking for some some crazy, crazy money or whatever. And why the hell would you leave from the Rams? You feel me? Like, what's going on there? Yeah, they're going to have to just cut some ties. Yeah, they're going to have to cut some ties or something. That's why he's like a big mm -hmm. source speculation and trade. There's no guarantee he's going to be traded. But that's what the the rumor wire is right now. And they just say, you know, instead of paying him the $17 million that he's owed, they can cut their losses and, you know, just move ultimately move on from him. So, I mean, I don't know. But in, last season, he had a pretty good season. Um you know, 88 tackles last season, 18 pass defenses. He had four picks, you know, and, and so I tied a career high for him and, and uh, picks for a year. Ramsey don't get picks like a ball hawk, ball hawk, because for years, motherfucker, they don't throw it at him. You know what I'm saying? They like, don't throw to him, right. Quarterbacks got criticized for that all the time, bro. Like, especially Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. Remember when they, they played him in like a big game and Rodgers didn't target him one time. And that was a few years right. ago. But mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. they just don't throw at Ramsey like that. I think he's still elite. He's definitely top five still. Um, right. Every, every cornerback's going to get burned. We know that they got a lot of good young corners now, but I just, I can't get like sauce Gardner as great as he is right now. I, he, you think he's better than Ramsey right now? I don't, I no, don't, not I yet. Don't. Not I don't. yet. I don't. Ask, ask me, ask me after next season or two years, you know, maybe, but not right. yet. I mean, mm -hmm. he's still Jalen Ramsey. Now we got to put respect on it. Solid. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, definitely, definitely. I'm make, I'm making I just my don't, I just don't think Come to Detroit. Hey, I don't think I don't think he was he he is what he was. You feel me? Like he like I said, he's getting older in age. He has been getting burnt a lot though. This last season, he was getting burnt a lot. He might have had those four interceptions, eighteen passes deflected, but bro, they was eating you alive out there, bro, for real. And that and that's that's questionable to me. You feel me? Because I like Jalen Ramsey, bro, for real. I feel like he's a top guy, but 
17 million, man. The Rams don't want to pay that, man. Ain't nobody really finna pay that stuff or whatever unless you're a contender. And they got to, and that, uh, that salary got to get a haircut, bro. You feel me? That's the only way. That's, that's my argument, though. I think the Lions are a contender, man. If they can, they, if they land Jalen Ramsey, they're a contender. I really feel that way. You need a little help on the defensive line. Dude, how they finished last season and they got the best, the absolute best out of these subpar players, these unheard of players that nobody's even heard of. And they fell one game short of the playoffs. One right. game short. All you got to do is get in. Fuck the one seed. Mm. Screw all the – just get mm. in, bro. Just right. get in. You get in, anything can happen. It was getting to a point where late last season, I felt like no team wanted to see the Lions, bro. Like they was, right. they was on another level, you Eaten. know? Eaten boy, they, right? You have no Chomp. corners, right? You had like practice squad corners being elevated because of injuries and all of this. And you add a Jalen Ramsey to a defense like that, right. who can come in with that veteran leadership and rally these boys. Like mm -hmm. Jalen Ramsey's very vocal too. So I mean, you, you're gonna right. you're gonna fit right in in the D man. So make this move, Detroit. Sp give him 17 million this year, 18 million. Then I don't care, bro. We got to spend money some on something somewhere along the way. You got to pay at least one great player, you know, if you're gonna make a serious run at this thing. And if they do that, man, look out. I'm telling you, look out. But that definitely that'll definitely uh solidify that defense though, for definitely. real. Because you got that one side, you got that one side shut down like an old uh old school Pat Peterson. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like you got that one side shut down or whatever, man. The rest of those boys gonna thrive. I'm not saying that it's not a good pickup for y'all, but it's just I just feel like it's highly unlikely, bro. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I what, that's a but, that's a good way to word it. But yeah. I, but I, that'll be good. That'll be good for y'all defense, man. That'll be good for y'all city as a whole, bro. For real. So now y'all have a face to go with the franchise. You feel me? No doubt. Jalen Ramsey, Aiden Hutchinson, man, they they go wreak havoc. Man, Rob, Ooh, that'd be ugly. That boy, man, what? That'll be ugly. That'll definitely that'll definitely put y'all in top ten defense. Stud just with that one guy, just with the one, just with, with just with uh Ramsey. That'll put y'all in top ten defense, bro. Right now, because y'all definitely and just y'all being healthy in the second half of the year, bro. That's why I see. That's why I heard you say whatever. Like nobody wanted to see us, bro. When y'all got healthy, the offense right. was already putting up like crazy numbers. Right, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like the beginning of the season, or whatever, but injury, injury, injury. Now you got freaking a defense or whatever with the offense, man. That junk gonna look like the freaking the, the old school Rams, bro. For real, with Tory Houghton, the boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they had the defense and stuff as well with Aeneas Williams over there, or whatever, shutting down shit. You feel me? Like, I can see that, I can see that stuff, bro, but it's just highly unlikely that that man goes there. He gonna he gonna want to go somewhere that's elite. You feel me? Like he's yeah. he's jumping, he's He's doing the KD, bro. He's gonna jump from one elite team. Oh, it's not working here. I'm gonna jump to another elite right. team. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. That's that, that just I feel like that's just just the way his mind works. That's probably that's gonna be the most likely thing that's gonna happen. But uh, I mean, a Lions fan, we could dream, right? We can hope and pray Believe and we can it. dream. But I'll tell you what, if they don't spend money on the Jalen Ramsey type shit, you better pick up like a Bobby Wagner or something, which they probably mm -hmm. won't, but he, he wouldn't be top dollar though anymore, but still like he would be a great addition. But if you don't pick up a Wagner or a Ramsey or nothing like that, you better pay to bring Jamal Williams back leading touchdown, right. leading rusher mm -hmm. touchdowns last year. And you get, and they need to bring back DJ shark. He's a free agent. We got him on a one-year deal last year, but he started right. thriving when he was healthy. So got to bring them right. cats back if anything, man, but a guy yeah. can hope. Lions fans, get the recruiting process. And by the way, Micah Parsons, mind your own fucking business talking about who would come to Detroit. Since you were born, you mm -hmm. and the Lions have been, the Cowboys and the Lions have been in the same exact number of NFC championships since the day you were born, sir. Shut up, do mm -hmm. your job, stop tweeting. Thank you. Appreciate it. Zero. <laughs> Nada. Take no shots at Detroit. What's wrong with you?